Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Merli of the 7th of March 2024. Essence Sweet children, the father's duty is to destroy this forest of thorns and create a garden of flowers. It is in this that number one family planning happens. Question What is the first class scripture for family planning and how is it that? Answer The Gita is the first class scripture for family planning because it was through the Gita that the father destroyed all the innumerable religions and established the one religion. Only in the Gita does it say, God speaks, lust is the greatest enemy. When you gain victory over the vice of lust, family planning automatically takes place. This is the work of only the one father, not of any human being. Om Shanti God Shiva speaks. The Father sits here and speaks to you spiritual children. This world would definitely be called a devilish world. The new world will be called the deity world. Very few people live in the divine world. You should explain this secret to someone. You should explain it to the ministers of family planning. Tell them, according to the versions of the Gita, only the one father has the duty of family planning. Everyone believes in the Gita. The Gita is the scripture for family planning. The father establishes the new world through the Gita. According to the drama, This is automatically fixed as his part. Only the father comes and establishes the original eternal deity religion. That is, he establishes a pure nationality. You would call yourselves those of the deity religion. In the Gita, God clearly tells you, I come to establish the one religion and to destroy all the innumerable religions, and through this number one family planning takes place. There will be cries of victory throughout the whole world, and the one original eternal deity religion will be established. Now, because there are so many human beings, there is a lot of rubbish The animals and birds etc. there will be so first class that your heart will be happy just on seeing them. There will be no question of fear. The father sits here and explains. You have called out to me to come and establish family planning. That is, take the impure families back and establish pure families. All of you used to say, Baba, come and destroy the impure world and create a pure new world. This planning is only the Father's. Your hearts become happy as soon as you see it. Your hearts become happy when you see Lakshmi and Narayan. There the king, queen and subjects are all first class. This method of family planning is fixed in the drama. You children have to explain. The Parlokic father carries out first class golden aged family planning. He destroys this forest of thorns. This haystack is set on fire. This is only the father's task. You cannot do anything. 
No matter how much you try to do, none of you can be successful in this. The father says, The vice of lust that you consider to be your friend is a very big enemy. There are many who become friends of that. The father issues an ordinance. You have to conquer it. You can explain that the father says, Lust is the greatest enemy. The poor people don't even know how family planning takes place. The father does this according to the drama every cycle. It has to happen again. There are very few human beings in the golden age. There is no question of worrying about this. The father is carrying out this work practically. Those people beat their heads so much. Also explain to the education ministers. People's characters are now so bad. The deities had such good characters. Remain carefree while speaking. Tell them, This is not the work of any of you ministers. This is the work of the highest on high father. There was one religion, one kingdom and one language in the kingdom of deities. There were so few human beings. However, very few of you know how to speak with such tact. You don't have that spiritual authority. You should show them the picture of Lakshmi and Narayan. The father carried out family planning. He is now doing that once again. His kingdom is being established. Baba has said, Always keep the picture of Lakshmi and Narayan at the front and put many lights etc. on it. Also have this trance light picture with you when you go around in the early morning so that anyone can understand it very clearly. Tell them, we are carrying out this family planning. As are the king and queen, so the subjects. The deity dynasty is being established. All the rest will be destroyed. You say, O oh purifier, come. Come and make us pure. Only the father can make you that. Only the one deity religion was pure. All the other religions were destroyed. Tell them, this planning is only in Shiv Baba's hands. This planning is for the golden age. There, there is the deity clan. Shudras don't exist there. This is first class planning. All the other religions will be destroyed. Come and understand this father's planning. When they hear this from you, many will surrender themselves to you. How can those ministers etc. have viceless planning? The father who is God, the highest on high, has come to carry out this planning. He destroys all other innumerable religions. Everything is in the hands of the unlimited Father. He makes old things new. The Father establishes the new world and destroys the old world. This is fixed in the drama. You should explain, brothers and sisters, you don't know the beginning, middle or end of this world cycle. The Father tells you this. There aren't as many human beings at the beginning of the golden age. 
nor does anyone speak of family planning, etc. there. First of all, come and understand the beginning, middle and end of the world. The bestower of salvation is only the one Father. Salvation means golden aged human beings. At first, there were very few deities. There was the first class religion. Baba has first class planning for the flowers. Lust is the greatest enemy. Nowadays, people even give up their lives for it. If two people have fallen in love and their parents don't want them to marry, they create so much upheaval in the family. This is a dirty world. Everyone continues to prick one another like thorns. In the golden age, there is the shower of flowers. Churn the ocean of knowledge in this way. Baba continues to give you signals. You have to refine those signals. They make many types of pictures. Whatever happens according to the drama, it is fine. It is very easy to explain to anyone. Draw everyone's attention to the Father. This is the work of the Father alone. The Father is now sitting up above. He will not do this work. He says, when there is defamation of religion, when it is the devilish kingdom, I then come to destroy all of that and establish the deity kingdom. People are sleeping in the sleep of ignorance. All of this will be destroyed. Only the families of those who become viceless will come and rule the kingdom. It is remembered that establishment took place through Brahma. Of what? Of this family. It is being planned. Brahma Kumars and Kumaris are becoming pure, so a pure new world is definitely needed for them. This most auspicious confluence age is very short. Such good planning takes place in such a short time. The Father enables all of you to settle your karmic accounts and takes you back home. You will not take all of this rubbish back there. Dirty souls cannot go back there. This is why the Father comes and makes you beautiful and takes you back home. Churn the ocean of knowledge about such things. You continue to have realizations. The father says, I am carrying out the rehearsal for establishing the one religion. Who carried out this family planning? The father says, I am doing my work exactly as I did in the previous cycle. You call out, Change impure families and establish pure families. At this time all are impure. They spend hundreds of thousands on weddings. They celebrate so much and then from being pure they become impure. You children should now carry out this godly business. You should explain to everyone. All are sleeping in a devilish sleep. They should be awakened. Become beautiful and make others the same so that they can receive the Father's love. What will you receive if you don't do any service? Those who become emperors must definitely have performed good actions, karma. 
Anyone can understand that they are the king and queen and that you are a maid or servant. Therefore, you must all have definitely performed such actions in your previous birth. By performing bad actions, you receive a bad birth. The philosophy of karma actions continues. The father is now teaching you to perform good actions. There too you would definitely understand that you became that according to your actions in your previous birth. But you will not know what actions you performed. Actions are remembered. The more good actions someone performs, the higher the status he receives. Only by performing elevated actions do you become elevated. If you don't perform good actions, you end up sweeping the floors and you have to bow down to others. That would be said to be the fruit of your actions. The theory of karma continues. By following Srimat, you perform good actions. There is a vast difference between the emperor and the maids and servants. The father says, now follow the father. If you follow my Srimat, you will receive a high status. The father also grants you visions. Mama, Baba and the children all become so elevated. That too is because of their actions. Many daughters don't understand about karma. At the end, everyone will have visions. If you study well, you will become a lord. If you weep and wail, you will be spoilt. This also happens in worldly studies. God speaks. At this time, the whole world is burning on the pyre of lust. They say that their stage is spoilt when they look at a woman. There, people's stage won't become spoilt in this way. The father says, Do not look at the name and form. Simply see one another as brothers. The destination is very high. You have to become the masters of the world. No one would ever have it in his intellect how Lakshmi and Narayan became the masters of the world. The father says, I make you into the masters of heaven. Lakshmi and Narayan were full of all virtues. Look at what those whom you consider to be new blood continue to do nowadays. Did Gandhiji teach this? There has to be a way to establish the kingdom of Rama. This is the work of the Father alone. The Father is ever pure. You remain pure for 21 births and you then become impure for 63 births. You have to be so intoxicated to explain this. The father continues to tell you children. Children become pure. Acha. To the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children. Love, remembrance and good morning. From the mother, the father, Bapdada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. In order to make your stage constantly stable and unshakable, do not look at the name or form of anyone. 
Simply see one another as brothers. Make your vision pure. Adopt spiritual authority when explaining to others. Two, in order to receive the Father's love, do the same business as the Father. Awaken those who are sleeping in a devilish sleep. Become beautiful and make others the same. Blessing. May you be an image that attracts and with your easy nature and your good wishes thereby experience the love of the Father, the Innocent Lord. The Father, the Innocent Lord, loves the innocent children. Innocent means those who have constantly easy nature, good wishes and a clean mind, who have honesty and cleanliness in their minds and actions. Such children become images that attract and attract the Father to them. The Father, the Innocent Lord, turns the rosary of the virtues of such innocent children who have easy natures. God loves innocence. With your innocence, you children have attracted God and made him belong to you. Slogan To share the gift of virtues and powers through your face and behaviour is to have good wishes and pure feelings. Om Shanti